Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through how to solve for the centroid of a triangle, just the X centroid position. Uh, I'm doing this video because I need this result for one of my future videos on aligning torque. So you can see here that we have this triangle in the XY coordinate plane and with its vertex at the origin, here's a triangle like this. And to find the X position of the centroid, denoted as X bar sub T, that's T for triangle, uh, is equal to the integral of X dA over the integral of dA. And the derivation of this is left for another video or you can find resources online about this. And so we need an expression for dA, the differential area element, in terms of x. And so I've drawn this dA element right here, and you can see that it's a uh, it's just a bar that has a height of y because of the uh, of the y coordinate where it's located, and the width of it is this differential dx. And so we can express the I've just redrawn the area differential area element down here. We can express the dA by taking the height times the width, so y times dx. But you can see that this is still a function of y, and we need this y as a function of x to satisfy this, uh, the integral that we need to try to solve. And so we can just use the equation of the line, the upper uh, hypotenuse of this triangle, and that's just kind of redrawn here. And so we can say that the y is equal to mx plus b, where m is equal to the slope, b is the y-intercept. And if you look at how we drew this, based off of how we drew this, we set the vertex to the origin here so that the y-intercept of this triangle, of this line of the triangle, is equal to zero. So we can just rewrite y is equal to mx plus zero, and that's this. And we can plug this y up into the differential area equation to get the differential area is equal to mx dx, which is only a function of x now. So now that we know that the differential area element is equal to mx times dx, we can plug this up into the expression for the centroid position where I've redrawn this triangle here with a, the centroid position located here at some distance xt from this vertex, and the entire base length is b. And so if we plug that into here on the numerator and the denominator, we get the integral of x times mx dx over the integral of mx dx. And if we multiply the x's together, we get an integral of mx squared dx. And this stays the same. And then we can take the m's out, the slope of the line because they're constant out of both of these integrals and they cancel out and we're left with the integral of x squared dx over the integral of x dx and to get the centroid of the total triangle we're going to integrate from the vertex all the way to the right side of the triangle so we're integrating from zero to b and that's why i've added these limits of integration here and so if we integrate the numerator we get x cubed over three and we're going from zero to b and the denominator we get x squared over two going from zero to b and so if we evaluate these expressions here we get the b cubed over three minus zero cubed over three and the denominator same thing b squared over two minus zero squared over two and these terms cancel out because they're zeros here and we're left with b cubed over three here and then since this is in the denominator i flip it to bring it to the numerator so we get two over b squared and you can see that the b cubed divided by b squared simplifies to b and then we, we are left with two over three so the final expression for the x coordinate of the centroid of a triangle is equal to two thirds times the base and that is the the general triangle centroid that i'll be using in my other video thanks for watching